The first semi-final of the men's 110 metres hurdles now. The atmosphere really building inside the stadium. Let's take you there and join Paul Dickinson and Stuart Storey. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, it should be a great race at this semi-final stage. These men battle it out for a place in the final. Paul Dickinson joins me in the box. There's the lineup. Chinese Taipei in the inside lane. Then Singapore, the German champion next to them. And then Great Britain. Next is Russia. The next lane, then, is Finland. Then, New Zealand. And Poland, nearest to us, in lane one. On your mark. We surely are going to be in for a good race here. So the athletes settling now into their blocks. Germany finish in first place that dip on the line just put him in first place in this semi-final so let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that semi-final the top four athletes then qualifying for the final. Let's see the replay of that. Lane four starts set him up so well. What an impressive turn of speed there, Stuart. Well, lane four's got this far without hitting any hurdles. A tremendous victory for Germany there. Well, that's all for now. Let's take you back to Steve Ryder in the studio. Steve. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, great stuff there. And they'll have strong hopes for that final now after they got through so well here today. It's the opening stage of the women's javelin today. We'll have all that action for you now. Guiding us through it are Paul Dickinson and Stuart Storey. Thanks again, Steve. Well, yeah, as Steve said, we've got the qualifying rounds of the women's javelin here for you today. Should be some good action. Let's have a look at the first round. Next to compete will be Great Britain. And they've not held anything back on that one. It's about halfway into the 60-metre area. That throws over the qualifying distance, so we'll be seeing this athlete in the final. Let's see that again. Everything came right together. Oh, she really put everything into that one. Yes, that was a good solid throw. They'll not be disappointed with that one. Let's see the current standings then after that round. The British competitor then is up next. Mm. 
I can't see that throw making any distance. Oh, look at that. What happened to Javelin stall? It needed to be a bit longer to qualify, but the other throw is enough to take them through. Let's have another look at that. This throw went so badly from the start. That's right, Stuart. She got it all wrong. What an awful throw. They're capable of achieving so much more than that. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Next up is Great Britain. Well, that could have been better, but not a bad throw by any means. Well, that's a poor throw, really. Not too good. Well, that throws under the qualifying distance, but it doesn't matter. They've already got a qualifying throw on the board. Well, let's have a look at the replay. This throw went very badly from the start. That's right, Stuart. She got it all wrong. I was extremely disappointed with that throw. A good qualifying performance there, and we'll be bringing you the remaining stages of that event as they happen. Next, it's the final of the men's sprint hurdles. Dramatic action in the heats and semis, an outstanding final in prospect. And in the stadium is Stuart Story. Thanks for that, Steve. Well, this final will be impossible to call. Well, it's by no means clear who will win the medals, but it is going to be an absolute cracker. First up is the athlete from America, then Great Britain. After them, Chinese Taipei. Next lane, Israel. Then Germany. Next along, South Korea. And then, Poland. The Netherlands complete the lineup. On your mark. This is going to be a very good race. As the athletes settle, we're only moments now from the start. And I think it was the dip that made him champion. That was great stuff. Let's have a look now at the final places. Well, let's have a look at the replay. The athlete in lane two out of the blocks. All the other athletes got left behind by that show of power. Lane two doing quite well, only one hurdle down. That's a gutsy effort from Great Britain, but they'll be leaving here empty-handed. Well, let's hand back to Steve Ryder in the studio now. Steve. So fourth place, the cruelest position in any competition, but that's especially true of the Olympics. They'll be back though, and I'm sure that elusive medal will one day be theirs.
Let's take you over now for the medal ceremony for the men's 110 metres high hurdles. A thrilling final and now the great moment in any athlete's career, especially for the new Olympic champion. Thank you.